Mmm. Ooh, definitely the bottom of the pot today. Well, that's no good. There's only one cup in there. Guess that's what happens. Welcome to Monday. And what a beautiful day it is. So, what's up, everyone? How was your weekend? Did you get out and do some things? Find an adventure? Seems like there was a lot going on. So, what did you do? Hopefully, you made some new time. Because, you know, new time is always good. Actually, I think it's my favorite. Me time, you time, what a time. And sorry to be a broken record, but if you haven't yet subscribed to me on YouTube, do so now. Push that button, yeah. Did some more looking around on the Facebook. And if you wanna make sure you're getting all my content, make sure you go to Facebook on a web browser, click the down tab under following, click see first, scroll down and click edit, and switch that bad boy to standard. I really don't post that much, not in a day anyway, so I'm not gonna be blowing your shit up. Being like alert, 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 notification. Not that guy, just saying follow me. UPDATES! So Saturday was a beautiful day and I couldn't let it go to waste, so I had to talk myself into doing something! Going on a little adventure. Had to light a little fire up under my butt. So to actually get out of the house! Go explore and discover some things. Remember what it was like to be a kid. That's right, this past weekend was Railroad Days. Woohoo! The carnival slash festival that goes down annually in my hometown. It's not really my hometown, it's just where I graduated from. It wasn't too bad, I had a good time. Checked out some rides, seen some people, enjoyed the day. Not too bad. It was pretty cool at the carnival, I mean, seeing all the kids do their things. It was interesting to see that they moved the carnival from, like, the downtown street area to, like, where they hold the farmer's market. I don't know if I like that so much. Like, it really takes away from, like, the whole aesthetic of what Railroad Days meant to me in my head. No, it feels like this kind of, like, fair thing and muddy and stuff. Of course, it's been forever since I've been there, so who knows how long it's been moved! What do you think? Did you go? Do you like the new location? Also was able to get some editing done, so that's always nice. There's an adventure video coming soon, so be on the lookout for that. Ooh, and you mixed that song too. Oh yeah, that's right! If you haven't checked out 21st Century Stoner, you should do so. So this is the page where I post all my music, and I posted a new one on Saturday! The Other Side. Released exclusively on SoundCloud! For free! Cause there ain't no way I'm charging anyone for that shit! Yeah! Other happenings! So last night, told on out to Owasso, my buddy Mike came up from Florida, so we got together to go see the new John Wick film! John Wick 3, Parabellum. Prepare for war! That's basically what they did because really all they did is prepare me for John Wick 4. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was a badass movie. Some amazing action scenes! The fight scenes were just plain fun. Throwing knives, shooting guns, big guns, tactical guns, all the guns, and all the cutlery too. Halle Berry showed up, that's always nice. Totally kicking some ass. It was pretty cool because Holly had like these two dogs, and boy oh boy, some of the action that they shot with those dogs. People falling everywhere, limbs getting bit. It was pretty badass. I have to say the only thing that that I really didn't like was the fact that it didn't end. I kind of liked the idea of it being wrapped up in a three-part trilogy. Especially since if you are a fan of the John Wick films, you know that they just kind of continue. Meaning that the newest film usually picks up where the last one left off. To which you gotta say, John Wick, boy, man, it's been an exhausting couple of weeks. Oh, the bodies! Everywhere. I definitely say that the body count was stacked high in this one, maybe even higher than the last. Either way, the action scenes have definitely matured and developed into something that's just its own thing. And you're invited to go along for the ride! Also, I'd say that the film isn't doing too bad. It made 57 million dollars this past weekend! Which is pretty good considering that the film only cost 55 million to make. Which means we're pretty much guaranteed a John Wick 4! And just to add some nerd facts from the first film, the first John Wick only cost 40 million dollars to make, and made 92 million domestic! So it's pretty much safe to say John Wick will be in our future, possibly forever. So I wonder how long it'll take before they release the next one. Next! Today I'm headed up to Oxford to get some design done. And after getting that stuff together, gotta get back because Elmer Hall's coming out tonight to do another podcast. Video style. So be on the lookout for that. It should be out Thursday. Subscribe and be alerted. I really gotta poop right now. It's like all weird. Oh, shit, I gotta wrap this up. Um... Woo! All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. I'm Dan, and you've been watching the Finding Lost Vlogs. Vlog 44! Peace, I'm out of here!